Hi. So today we are going to look at classes of amplifiers. Now, a basic amplifier has got three types: class A, class B, and class AB. Now, um, of course, apart from these, there are more uh, types of amplifiers or type classes of amplifiers like class D and the remaining switching amplifier types. Today we are going to look at only the analog, the linear ones, class A, B, and AB. I would like to put it in an analogy of uh, cutting a tree. So let's say in class A, I'm the only person cutting a tree, and I have a saw, so I'm cutting a tree like this, and I'm putting all my efforts all the time, and cutting a tree. So I am tired myself because I'm working all by myself. My efficiency is low because it's only me. So that's class A. We we'll look at the efficiency and all that later. Class B is cutting a tree by two people. So there's my my colleague is there on the other side of the tree. I'm on this side, and we have a saw in between. So I cut the tree, I push the saw, and leave it. Then he, his end, he pushes the saw and brings it to my end, and then I push the saw. So that way. Both of us are cutting the tree, so half energy is from my end and the other half is from his end, and two of us together are cutting the tree. The work is the same, but we are sharing the work. So I am getting less tired. Maybe you can say half tired, and he is getting half tired. And the third, which is class A B, is a fusion between A and B. In A, I was cutting the tree continuously on my own. With a single continuous motion. In B, both of us were doing it, but it, the motion was not continuous. I used to leave the the saw, then he used to cut. He used to leave the saw. In A B, what we can visualize it as: I cut the tree, I push the saw, and before I leave the saw, he is already pulling the saw. So it's a continuous motion. It doesn't stop in between. There are no sudden jerks. it continuously pulls and pushes the saw and cuts the tree now when this linear motion of cutting the tree um we have we have a uh, in in class a it is continuous yes it is continuous and it is very clean it is uh, it, it doesn't stop anywhere because i am pulling it myself but the drawbacks are efficiency and the power one single person how much can he push how much can, how much energy he, he can uh, exert in class b yes efficiency is much higher because it's shared between two of us but there is as we call in audio terms crossover distortion what is crossover distortion here is because the cut is not continuous it stops in between it has a jerk and then he takes over that jerk you can call it as crossover distortion and in ab we both are working that means we still have this good efficiency both of us trying to cut one tree and because there is no stop in the cut by the time i leave my saw he has already started pulling it and by the time he leaves the saw i have already started pulling it so that brings a very good continuous motion is similar to what happens in audio signal the path is very clean there is very less crossover distortion when it when the one transistor leaves and the other transistor takes over that the electronic transition you can visualize it as a transition in physically leaving the saw and pulling the saw by the other person this could be a, a way of putting it together and explaining classes of amplifiers class d and the rest of the digital amplifiers or switching amplifiers as they are called are are different because they they don't have a linear motion they have on and off states so that means they will either be on or off and that makes it more efficient of course we'll talk about class d amplifiers or uh, the switching amplifiers uh, sometimes later but this is how we can maybe visualize and you know understand the classes of amplifiers in a better way thanks